welcome welcome to auntie june's kitchen this is auntie june from donga yard for those of who, you who do not know me i am the real auntie june right you okay grandpa and, <laughs> and i'm gonna show you how i'm gonna make sweet potato pudding also welcome to those of you who just tuning in to my channel so thank you let's get started these are all the ingredients that i'm gonna use to make the sweet potato pudding first of all we have the sweet potatoes okay yes we have the coconut milk sugar mm -hmm. flour mm -hmm. and the spices awesome okay so what we're gonna do first so we are going to peel the potato. This is how I peel my potatoes. After peeling the potato, I'm going to get it, cut it into halves and get it washed. Before I started with my gratering. So I'm going to get it cut in two and cut it again and get it washed. Okay. So, what are we doing with the potatoes? Are we blending it or grating? No, it? I'm gonna get it grated. Okay. This is how I am gonna wash the potatoes for it to be grated. Make sure it is properly washed. So. All right. I've gone before and grated some, so I'm gonna grate this few to finish with my grater in. Some coffee grater in there, doing. Yes, this is how. I grated my sweet potato to make my pudding. Maybe some people just put it in a blender, put it up fine and maybe blend it out to nothing, but I love to grate it. I love it when it <laughs> grates. And it's easy, it's soft. It's really easy to grate it. Potatoes are already grated, so you can take a look to see how it looks. How it's look after it is all grated. grated. Okay. Okay. What's your next step? Yes. So I'm gonna prepare the milk, sugar, and the spices. Okay. To put in. All right. Okay. So let's get started. I'm gonna rinse the spoon. All right. So I have to just scrape this out to get rid of the potato that is left on it. Okay. All right. So put this aside. I'm gonna have to use this now for the preparing for the milk. All right. So I'm gonna have to cook the milk. Just plug this over there for me, please. So it's plugged in? I'm gonna open the milk. Okay. also use the grated coconut to use the coconut to make the pudding too 
So we can use the grated coconut and squeeze, squeeze the, coconut the coconut to get the milk instead of using and the canned milk. The canned milk. Sure. So how many puddings you're making today? I want to make about three puddings. Um, and we're using how many milks? Four? Four cans of coconut milk. So the more milk, the creamier the pudding? Yeah. Or not necessarily? Not, yes. Yes. Because if you don't have the more, um, milk in it, then you know it's going to get dry. Okay. So. You have to have um, cream. So we're doing the wet ingredients first. We're doing the um, yes, the wet ingredients. Okay. Okay. So step one of the process was grating the grater in the um, potatoes. And next, we're gathering the milk. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna mix all the um, wet ingredients first. first okay. Right. So she's gonna add um, bottled water. Mm -hmm. We're using Poland Spring. Yes. And that is a one complete bottle. Mm -hmm. right. So I'm gonna put vanilla. Okay. One tablespoon. All right, so she's putting one tablespoon of vanilla in there, and we tend to use Benjamin because it gives a very good um, flavor for yes. the vanilla. Sometimes you buy other brands and it tastes two artificial, spoon. right? Yeah, two. So she used ta two tablespoons of vanilla. Yes. And um, rose water. Rose water. So it's the same two, mm -hmm. two tablespoons of rose water. So I'm gonna use almond essence. So we're gonna almond it up. Mm -hmm. One. And she used one. You know, she's a Jamaican one with a little bit um overflowing. Yes. What's and, next? Um, the anise essence. I'm gonna put just one. One tablespoon. One anise. tablespoon. Yeah. Right. Yes. So that is it. So next. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. That's it. Next, I'm gonna have to put. Uh, I'm gonna use the nutmeg. Okay. Also the nutmeg. So we're continuing with to the add spices. spices to the liquid. Yes. So we're doing the nutmeg. Yes, a tablespoon. Okay. So this is one of my favorite puddings. Apart from Christmas cake, um, I love sweet potato pudding. This, this is the all spice. She's I'm using all spice. It's one tablespoon all spice as well. And um, it's a different type of cake Ground than spice. regular um, cakes that you get in the store. Yes, it's so good too. Ground cinnamon. So she's using <laughs> one tablespoon. Yeah, it, you might see a lot of spices going in there and everything, and you think it's um gonna be oversaturated. No, no. it's not gonna be oversaturated. The tastes are gonna be so good. So she blends everything up. Together. So there's the coconut milk, the vanilla, the rose water, the anise, the, the almond, the nutmeg, ground nutmeg, the yes. ground allspice, yes. cinnamon. What's next, June? Next. All right, so now she is blending all of these together. And believe me, people, it smells so good. It looks so good. I am not. It probably tastes very good too, right, June? Very, very good. Creamy People and nice. always come back and ask some more. So I'm also I'm gonna add the sugar. So she's using regular sugar at the store that you'll get. Yes. So how many sugars we add in? Like a cup or two cups? I'm gonna add two cups of sugar. Okay. So she's gonna add two cups of sugar. And we're like properly measuring these things now. 
it's gonna have two cups of sugar. Okay. So we're just gonna mix all of that mix in. All this together. And does it, if the sugar, should we mix till the sugar is dissolved or it doesn't matter? It's supposed to mix until the sugar dissolves. Okay. You want everything to dissolve. So when you're ready to go with the mixture of the sweet potato, just have everything already inside there. Okay. So this is a different type of cake, people. This is actual pudding. Pudding. It's not cake, it's a pudding. Sweet potato, potato pudding. pudding. It's a pudding. If you notice, I'm not gonna use no salt. Okay. No salt. So we still mix in for um, the sugar to dissolve. And then what's the next step, June? Combine the flour with the potato. Okay. This is the sweet potato which was already grated. Beautiful. Yes. So I'm gonna add the flour to what the mixture. What flour are we using? We're using the all-purpose flour. Okay. So how much um, flour are we adding? I'm gonna put about a cup. Okay. Or two cups. See here? Two, two cups. Two cups, okay. So as you can see with this um, pudding, we're not um, making the dry ingredients separate. We're actually just adding the flour to the grated um, potato. Potato. All right. Okay. So that's two cups of flour. I'm gonna add to the grated to potato. The grated potato. Okay. So I'm gonna mix it in. So she's folding it in. So she's um, mixing and cut. Mixing and cut. cut. Yeah. So, so we're gonna, gonna add, add the, the milk. milk. All right. Okay. We're gonna take our time and throw the stop and mix. Sure. All the spice was added to the milk already. Oh, nice. So we're gonna take our time to mix it and get it even. We're gonna add some more milk. We're gonna mix again. I'm still mixing. Mm. A little bit messy there too. It's all right. So, guys, this is not a cake; it's a pudding. So we don't need a mixer to kind of blend everything out or to make it fluffy. We actually want to have this um, type of texture. You can see, you know, the fibers of the potato and. The, and you want your pudding to be moist so you know June loves her cakes and her puddings and her treats and her food to be moist tasty and mm -hmm. delicious right so she's just getting all of that goodness all of that um, liquid that um, already seasoned with the spices and the different flavors into the potato mm -hmm. and mix with the flour and remember the juice is already um, Sweetened with the sugar already and the spice and yeah, as I said the spices good Yes, so this, this is, is the result of the um, pudding Yes The mixture is not smooth. You can see um, like the fibers and everything from um, 
the potatoes, potatoes. and mm -hmm. you know everything is already spiced and everything. Mm -hmm. So we are gonna go ahead and put them in the pots in the yes. baking tin. So, so we've already um, greased and uh, flour. Flour the pots. Like the flour. Okay. So we're about to throw the potato. We're gonna pour it into, pour the, it pan. into the pan. All right. Go so ahead, let's Drew. get started. Yes. Let's start with the ones that we sell it now. Yes. Uh, mine. Mm. So look at that texture. That's the texture that you want. And believe me, this potato is gonna be potato pudding is gonna be moist. Because you know June, she only gives you really good moist cakes. cakes. Anybody who has eaten any of June's cakes know that it is moist. But this is a pudding. And we know that pudding is supposed to be extra moist. moist. Alright, so two is down. And oh, you yeah, know no. mine is gonna be the biggest, which I'm is that one, so she has to top bit. she has to top it up. But it can't go no more. Alright, number one is in. Alright guys, and you know be careful when you're putting it in because the oven's supposed to be at least um preheated. Pre um you can preheat it like for three to four or five minutes before you actually put the cakes in. Okay, looks good, looks good, looks good. Awesome. Alright, so the last, the cakes are all done. That's the last of the pudding in the oven. And Miss June has taken these two out. So Miss June, give us your verdict. Welcome back to Auntie June's kitchen. Mm -hmm. Now the cake is pudding. The pudding potato pudding is finished okay, so we're gonna plate it and let um the lucky person try it but normally what i understand with pudding is that we don't cut it same time we let it cool at least for um until morning we let it cool for a couple of hours let it cool to touch and then we can cut it because if you cut the pudding it might lose its form and it actually tastes different in the morning so Having the pudding warm, it tastes different than it being cool. So a lot of people tend to wait till the pudding is cool before you go into it because it will be really hot. But for you guys, for your purpose, we're going to cut it so you can see it because if we allow it to um, stay cool, that will be in the following day, right? So let's cut because you know I'm hungry and I want to try myself. Go ahead, June. Okay. So. These are clean. Mm -hmm. Knife is clean. Okay. And this is clean. Everything is clean. Okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Good. Awesome job, June. Okay. Very nice. Awesome. Good job. Thank you. That is beautiful. So beautiful you pudding. Look, so you can take a look around here. Let's see. There for my shaky hands, guys. That's it. Isn't that gorgeous? Really soft, really moist. Yep. And normally, as I said, guys, if you take it out of the store, you should really allow this there to cool go. one day. You should really allow it to cool at least one day before you touch it so the, the pudding can really keep its um, texture and shape. So that is the other pudding and I say Junie did an amazing, amazing and job. it is very hot. It's, it's very hot. Alright. So we're going to have... took it from the oven. Okay. It is very hot. Alrighty. See? Very hot. Okay. Alright. So we have plated the pudding and everything. Amari is going to uh, try it. All right, ready to go, June? Are you ready, Mr. Spence? Yes, I'm ready. All right. You put it first. The camera says something. All right, go ahead, Tommy. Okay. Try it. Mm -hmm. Nice and hot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. 
so June it's a hit yet again Subscribe.